Uh, we start with the X299 Intel chipset, the new enthusiast Intel chipset. And uh, we have three motherboards with that lineup. To start with the X299 Micro, which is micro ATX form factor, so a small form factor fits in lots of small cases as well. It comes with an M.2 Wi-Fi card on board, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and also has, of course, an additional um, M.2 for your SSD. Next one would be the X299 FTWK. This board is our actually our first board uh, with RGB lighting, so you could control via software all the colors you like, or you could also just switch it off if you don't like RGB. Uh, you can run SLI on that one as well. It supports, of course, all the latest Intel uh, connections like U.2 and also Intel Obtain memory. It has in total eight DIMMs, so you could run eight DIMMs on that one. So really enthusiast platform for the X299. And then we have a dark board, the X299 Dark. The dark board is one of our boards which is designed for overclocking. So what we've done here is we reduced actually the DIMM slots to in total only four because you could get a little bit more OC potential here and that's what it's all about. You want to reach the highest frequencies and uh, you are able to reach about 200 megahertz more, two to 300 megahertz more on the memory when you want only quad channel. Uh, so, by the way, this is EATX form factor, but we kind of call it um, optimized EATX because as you can see here, the 24 pin is uh, there something like small cutouts so you don't really have problems with your cable management anymore and also the 24 pin is kind of an angled. Uh, what we also have on that board is two debug LEDs. With these debug LEDs you are able to read out temperatures, voltages. Yeah, that, that basically is all meant to be for overclocking. To go further you even have three biases on this board so there's a little switch over, he over here and here you could s just um, flash the BIOS you, you'd like to use for overclocking and when something fails you could just switch to another one. The, the cooler you see or the fan you see at the very down is not uh, a chipset cooler, it's actually an M.2 cooler. So we tried to work a little bit around and um, as you know when the M.2 gets very hot it throttles and the performance goes a little bit down. The best way we found was to cool an M.2 is through a fan and it, it, it basically the airflow goes from the fan all the way over the M.2 and the exhaust at the end. All of the motherboards, of course, uh, have USB 3.1, Type-A, Type-C and all the connections nowadays you really need. For this motherboard, if you were wondering, we also have the PS2, uh, which is necessi necessary for overclocking because you always need the keyboard in the BIOS. Yeah, that's basically it uh, about our X299 chipset.